warm up and then. I know. You're putting him ahead. Get away. <laughs> Making me nervous. What's the plan? Some slopers at the top. Um, so there is this like fun competition series here at the Movement Gyms. Uh, good friend Dan that um, is one of the main guys putting it on. Someone's going to come up with one of the main guys putting it on. He has convinced me to do this fun competition. So basically for four weeks in a row, there's a new route each week in the open category um, and you try to do all four routes. And then the best two like men and women from each gym, which there is Golden, there is Baker, there is uh, which is here, there is Boulder, and there's Englewood. Uh, they'll go to the finals, which I think is October 6th, 7th, or 8th or something. So um, I have two routes out of the four to still do here. One I've tried before, which is hard. It's a pink one, kind of to the left of where the rope is over there. And then to the right of where that rope is, is the blue one that I have not tried yet. So we'll see, I'm nervous. I just did a 12 minus, uh, it's like 12 B probably. Now I'm gonna get on a 12 plus, which means like a C or a D for a next level of my warm up, And then I'll take maybe a good like five to 10 minute break after that and decide if I need one more route or I'm gonna just jump on this slightly intimidating blue route. So what's your thought process? One, when you're warming up, I guess right now, what's the purpose? So while I'm warming up for roots or sport climbing, um, I really want to make sure I get this like little flash pumped like out of my system first. Um, so on this 12 minus, I did get a little pump, a little bit more on the right side than the left arm, but it's good to get that like tight. You don't want to like blow up your forearms, but you want this initial little um, kind of flash pump, let that cool down and then you can start your next route because intentionally I don't want to get on the harder routes and get flash pumped on those ones. So. so, do you think you're in sport shape right now? Am I in sport shape? No. Um, I am good at stretching my power out to mimic sport climbing. Um, usually after a few routes, I kind of like my power then is drained. I would say like I can get endurance quite quickly within like a two to three week period by going through this like little hell week, I like to call it, or a couple hell weeks where I'm fighting this intense like pump and I try to get like six minimum, but six to 10 roots in each session and a couple of them will be doubles, um, maybe at a lower grade. And then around the two week mark, I start feeling, oh wow, I can actually recover and I can keep on going. Um, yeah, I get more into the flow of sport climbing. So I think right now, like I've been climbing, before last week I was climbing maybe like two days a month sport climbing. So definitely need to get a little bit more fitness for roots. Um, I think I'm gonna rest for like, oh, um, like maybe in between five and 10 minutes. It's kind of chilly in here, so I don't want to get too cold. Um, but then I'm gonna try the blue route, try to onsite it. So yeah, I did climb earlier. So I am a bit like warmed up. Usually my warm up would take a little bit longer. Like I do my fascia release, I do a hangboard, I do scat pulls, a bunch of things. Plus then like, Quite, like a little bit of bouldering and then I would usually do like more roots but since I'm already kind of pre-warmed up this is like a secondary warm-up so a little bit quicker yes I'm gonna look at it in a second so uh, while I'm wanting to read out my beta for the best chances of success on this route I'm going to look for like heel hooks potential knee bars toe hooks volumes um, kind of like if there's pivotal moments where I'm like, I need a left hand here, or I for sure need a right hand here, see what holds if they have blockers, because this one has quite a few blockers, blocked holds. Um, anything that would be like tricky or um, a low percentage move. 
I also like to look up my clipping positions because clipping is kind of like a move in a way. So you want to have the easiest clipping position. Um, and so usually like I will pick out, some clips are really obvious and some I will think, okay, one of these three holds around that draw, depending on what feels easy when I'm there. A lot of times you don't know exactly how you're gonna feel when you're on the wall, or actually you don't know how you're gonna feel until you're on the wall. Um, so you kind of have this like rough draft overview plan of what you wanna do, but let it change if your body's feeling like what you thought is a little too hard. So keep that in mind. Would you look at shaping positions, pacing, do you think, do you think about those things? Um, yeah, you definitely want to look out your shaking rest positions. I kind of like to do a lot of mini shakes in between as well. Uh, but if there's like a big like rest position, but usually on these comp routes, I find that's not the case, to be honest. I feel like it builds, you know, um, as you get higher. So we will see on this one. But yeah, if there's like resting positions, I do look out for those um, where you can take a breather, take a second, gather yourself. And especially if there's like a crux right after it. Um, but yeah, pacing, right now my pace is not where it needs to be because I think you get a better pace and a better flow when you're more into that style. So like when I'm more into sport climbing, I have a better flow. So right now, trying to manage my power. Okay, I'm gonna look it out now um, and see what I think. So once you're on the first right hand yeah. and the left hand, are you gonna go The left big left one toe? or left small, the small hole? The, left, the first left big one. Okay. Are you gonna go left toe next to the right No, I right think heel. left foot here, right heel, yeah. yeah. And then come in, bump the left, keep maybe the heel, bump left foot up one. Yeah. Come into this, this team. You ready, babe? I have you. Locks, my knots go. Yeah. All right, yeah. have fun. You gotta love fresh hold. No, they're like, well, just washed. Greasy. Oh. Wow. Sandbagging me. <laughs> Woo! My right arm got pumped. I'm gonna clip up.
Oh, I can't feel. Oh my god. Oh. My right arm is so pumped. Oh. It hurts. Oh. I think I'm gonna throw up. I'm like, I'm so pumped. No. Oh. I literally can't feel it. Or maybe I can feel it too much. I need down. Oh my god. Oh, it hurts. I hate this feeling. Oh, I know. Also, I got to the top and I was like, the last three holes, like, I don't want to have to get back on this climb again. The motivation to not have to do it again. Oh, my God. Oh. When I dropped the club, I was like, no. I dropped it again. I was like, oh, my God. Had to go back down to try to find a rest. I was like, nope, that was a bad decision. Go back up. I was trying to crimp the wall with the thumb and I was like, this ratty crimp and it's a pump. And I'm like, I could, I could fall clipping. I could fall clipping, made it. I was like, okay, do not let go now. Oh, I thought it was, uh, no, three times, the third time I was like, and then I went down to try to find her. My like leg was so cramped from just healing so hard. I actually thought that was me done. No, I thought it was me done too. Oh my god. How long do you rest now? I don't know. I have one great arm. One arm is just dead. I'm gonna rest like a good 15 minutes. You've been bleeding. It took away from me. This is, you get injured, it's probably like rope drag. Oh, well, thanks for the extra pressure, <laughs> motivation. That's great. I just wish there was a camera on my face. It's like, literally, I was like, that's what my face looks like. Did how, well, okay, what did you have to think? How close do you think I was? You were like, she's done, she's done for. Off. No. I think when you dropped the clip. And then I went back down again. I was like, to think that there might be a rest. I was like, shit, 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 shit. That's what I kept on thinking in my head. I'm like, God, it's gonna be a fun fall. Shit, shit, shit. For example, somebody's watching this and they sport climb outside and maybe they're warming up for their project or they're trying to on-site something or you've got competition climbers maybe they've done their first route and they don't feel as good as they were hoping didn't go to plan mm. you've got your next route your i.e the second competition route coming up which is second, like a like qualifier the last one. For, for competition climbers how do you move on what, what like the psychology behind it so if you're not feeling like as expected or what you wanted to like um, say if you fall or if you do the climb but if you felt like it was at limit or it's just things didn't go your way and um, didn't go to plan or how you wanted it can play in your mind and it's it's not necessarily always the easiest to like push those thoughts out but you definitely have to learn tactics and ways to kind of overcome it um, for example, on the blue one, I felt pretty off balance in the first like half of the route before I got to there was like an underclean jug. So I was like shaky and it was like, I kept on thinking like, oh no, like, wow, like I just oh, used too much energy and power. Cause obviously when you're sport climbing, you want to make every move feel as easy as possible. Um, try to conserve your energy as much as you can. 
and I definitely did not feel like I did that. So when I, luckily there's like this undercling jug with some not amazing like foot positions where I could get some back, made a big clip off of it. And I kind of probably took a little bit too long to rest there, but I not only had to like shake out my right arm, but also gather my thoughts for the rest of the climb because I still had half the climb left. So in that moment, I remember thinking, um, breathing, I didn't look at the rest of the route right away because I wanted to lower my heart rate. I wanted to just focus on breathing, focus on resting, not focusing on like, oh, I messed up all those parts below or, oh no, I'm pumped now, how am I gonna finish it? I wanted to calm my wandering mind and fully just be in the present moment of relaxing and resting. And then usually about like maybe five seconds before I go, I look up at my next moves just so I can rehearse them again real quick. And then I set off. And I did a little thing where, I don't know if you'll be able to see it um, looking at the footage, but I smiled at one point in the jug, like, or relaxed my face of nerves or anxiety or anything. And like really like try to breathe in positive thoughts. And it worked for a while and I started to get pumped. I got a little cold, numbed out, got pumped. But I just remember like keep on going, like keep on swimming, keep on swimming, keep on climbing, like just keep going, breathing. If you need to climb down a little bit, you can climb down. If you need to go up, find positions. Like I dropped a clip like two or three times and then I was like, you could do it. Like the positive self-talk in there um, definitely really helps. And so after like coming down, totally felt, my form felt so blown. Um, like I could barely breathe. I feel like right now my mind is still like, it's like after you did a really hard run or intervals, like sprinting, and then you just feel absolutely gassed and dead afterwards. It's kind of how I feel. Um, I have one more route to try. So basically try to put it out of my head that, oh wow, I feel tired. Um, think about other things like, okay, kind of more robotic. I want to get on this pink route, which I've tried three times before another day and I fell all three times. So I haven't sent it yet. Just rehearse the beta, go over my clipping positions, go over my resting positions, and kind of have an open mind. Don't think negatively, don't think positively. Just think like, I wouldn't say I have to take that back, not positively, but like, I'm not gonna sit and think, oh, for sure, I'm going to send it. So I'm not gonna like overdo it or stress myself out um, or put those expectations. More robotic in the sense of like, okay, this is what I need to do. That's where I rest, that's where I clip. And, kind of take the emotions out of it, if you will, if you will. Okay, you ready? We don't need a night light, cause we are already glowing in your lives. So no one's ever shown you what we're showing tonight. Let your young eyes light up the night sky. We ain't even scared of the monsters in our cars that's been made up. We ain't had enough tonight. Yeah. I Light up the uh, because we're famous, because the stars already know what our name is. When we start into a line, we'll be lighting up the night. Nobody gonna tame us, no fear, we scared of danger. So give it your best try, can nobody stop us this time? So I'ma let my chest pop out just a little. I'm headed to the top, can't stop in the middle. We are on in the we don't need a night like this we are already going in your life time no one's ever shown you what we're showing tonight but your young eyes light up the night sky we ain't even scared of the monsters in our cars that's been made up we ain't had enough tonight but your young eyes light up the night sky To the dreamers, world team, we the kings and the queens, yeah. and the kingdom's ours tonight. No, we won't be pushed aside. Nobody who's seen us, if they a doubter, we'll turn them to believe us. Don't even try to deny, cause we're young, wild, and alive. So I'ma let my chest pop out just a little. I'm headed to the top, can't stop in the middle. We are on the rise. So keep watching the skies We don't need a night like
right Cause we're already glowing in your lifetime No one's ever shown you what we're showing tonight Let your young eyes light up the night sky We ain't even scared of the monsters in our closets that made up We ain't had enough tonight Let your young eyes light up the night sky Okay, I'm done root climbing today. <laughs> Definitely felt like, but it's just like punchy at the top. <laughs> you got less pumped. You got less pumped filming. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I mean, I have tried it like three times and always got to that like. I don't know, like five holes from the end, there's those two first uh, half moons to the left. And this time, I think as soon as I got the better one, the second one, my foot picked, because the feet aren't great. And I was like, oh, keep it together. And the next move is really hard, going right hand to the last two like half moons. And I got there and I was like, don't mess it up. You've done it. It was good though. All right, I've qualified. Qualified for the competition now. If you think you could beat Alex in the final. <laughs> enter, you shall enter. Enter at your own risk. <laughs> oh, thanks, guys. Thanks. That's better. That was better. I feel like you're winding up for like a really good one, and then it's like, psych. It went the way you wanted today. Yeah. Um, well, kind of. The new blue one, I just think I had it in my head it was going to be easier than the pink. May, may not be, just depending if I climbed it poorly, but it felt, comparing the two, because I did the pink one as well after the blue, and comparing them, like, pink was so much easier, even though it was hard at the top. I think the difference is, like, blue is kind of, like, tricky and hard throughout the whole entire thing. Pink is, like, easy, and then, like, from halfway, it just keeps building and some really punchy, powerful moves at the top. So um, it could just be a style thing. Where'd you go from here? So say for example, that was a composition. This is um, hard. And you, and, you, and you top things. Do you just go, cool, I've done everything I could. I'm happy with that. Or do you analyze? Or... <clears throat> so from here, what I like to do, if this is like, you know, in the competition mindset, is analyze like things that I'm psyched that went well or how I climbed well, but also take away things that I can, could have done better. Um, you know, for me, it'd be like trying to be less shaky, um, and that's part of the nerves, but be less shaky even in the start of a climb when it is easier. Um, trusting my feet more, so the blue climb was more balancy and I didn't trust my feet, or I was hopping them up, or I was doing these like complete foot cuts versus like walking my feet up anywhere I could have saved energy. And I knew that when I got halfway through, I was like, oh, well, I didn't do that very gracefully. Or that wasn't pretty. Um, but making notes of it is a good thing because then you can practice it. I'm like, okay, so when I was going on to the next route, the pink one after a rest, I remember thinking like, okay, trust your feet, climb smooth, breathe, close your eyes if you need to like visualize and feel your body, feel your breath. Um, in those moments that you need to like gather all that, and center yourself again, do so. And 
I climbed it a lot better. So climbed the pink 10 times better than I did the blue one. What are the finals? Huh? What are the finals? The finals for this fun competition is, I think it's October 6th, 7th, or 8th, something like that. I, it's gonna be back here at Baker, I'm pretty sure. I honestly don't know the, the system or the format. I think there's gonna be one route. I think it's gonna be one route. Um, expectations? Not really. Like, I think. Yes, I'm doing this competition on my own free will, but also very heavily uh, persuaded by a good friend. So I think without the persuasion, I might have not be doing a competition, but it is fun. And even though it's like just the word competition makes you like nervous, no matter if it's like a small competition or a big competition, but I get beaten by kids and adults and people and all different abilities on like comp style boulders routes all the time. So honestly, like, I, like if I lose, like it's not gonna hurt my ego. Like I, I honestly don't, like a, yeah, of course you wanna do your best, but it's not gonna be like, oh, I'm not a good climber or, you know, I don't deserve to do a competition. Like it is fun and you always remind yourself like competitions, like there's so many factors that go into it of, you know, if someone wins or, or loses that day, that it doesn't define who you are. So luckily I'm, seasoned enough as a competitor that I can uh, go in there and know this and that takes a little bit of pressure off or at least won't hurt my ego if I don't win. Honestly, I'm not expecting to win. Um, I'm not expecting to lose either. I think I'm just going in there and like seeing what happens and like have fun.